hypothesis that 70% of MMRMAC students would kill somebody if they didn't know for a million dollars, provided they had no consequences for their actions. So first, in order to create a proper sample, you do 1.96, 95% confidence, times 0 0.07, times 0.93, because 7% is the standard population mean divided by 0 0.05 squared, which gives you 51.04, or rounded up to 52. So we had to sample more than that in order to get at least one advisor of each grade. So we had 46 yeses and 34 no's. In order to make sure that it was random, we had to have those four advisors because each group might be different. So our claim is the proportion equals 7%, and the alternate claim is the proportion does not equal 7%. So our hypothesis again was 7% of all MFL Marmot students would kill someone if kill someone for a million dollars with no consequences. H sub zero is p hat equal is equal to 0 0.07. H sub one is p hat is not equal to 0 0.07. This is our 95% acceptance area with a two-tailed test of 0 0.0 at 0 0.025 on each side. Our critical value is plus or minus 1.96, which is found on our, T, or on our Z score chart. Then we do the math of 0 0.7, or 575 minus 0 0.07, divided by the square root of 0 0.07 times 0 0.93, divided by the square root of 80, which is equal to 5.92 of the Z score. And when we put that on the chart, it is outside of the accepted area, so we reject H point H sub zero and we accept the alternative hypothesis. The, uh, our conclusion for our test was the portion of MFR Max students willing to commit murder for a million dollars without getting caught is not equal to seven percent.